This is a women's only training facility in São Paulo. It was set up in advance of the Women's Football World Cup to be played in France as part of an effort to boost the sport here in Brazil. We have to play in public places that are usually dominated by male players. Often, they don't want to let us play. Boys think only they can play football, so when we play with them, they never want to pass the ball to us until they realize we can play as well as, or even better, and usually we play better than them. This former coach of the Brazilian women's national team, now the head of the Santos Football Club, leads the training here. Emily Lima says the mandatory creation of women's teams in Brazil's Premier League, effective this year, was a good start but not enough to create real momentum for the sport. There's a lot of talk that things have been improving for women's football, but what about working conditions for the girls? Will they get only the leftovers? There are some big clubs with women's teams now, but they mostly just get the crumbs. The creation of new women's teams has been welcomed as an important step in developing the sport here in Brazil. But in most cases, these are amateur teams that do not pay full salaries. So there are now more opportunities for women to play, but still very few avenues to become professional athletes. The Corinthians Football Club is among a handful of teams which already has a professional women's team in place ahead of the new regulation. The club director hopes over time other teams and leagues will pay more attention to female athletes. We already have an important women's tournament here in Sao Paulo, and there are other state leagues that have been trying to boost their tournaments. This hasn't been happening only because of the new rule mandating women's teams, but also because there's a new market being created, which will be even larger in the next two or three years. Adriana Leal is a striker at Corinthians. She hopes female athletes are up for the challenge. I felt a lot of prejudice when I was young. I almost gave up on football because when we played, I would hear from the boys, that's wrong, a girl playing with us, it won't work. This is the kind of thing women still hear every day. While Brazilians love their football, equality for men and women players still has a way to go. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.